Hi everyone, and welcome back to more Pokemon Stadium 2 Rental Randomizer. Last week, we got so close, and we threw ourselves at that so close a couple more times. Just couldn't make it work. So we are back, where we always begin, with my phone telling me that I am in fact live. Uh, but no, we have to start with our mystery gift. Every Monday. Huff. Now we have to go get it so that it doesn't yell at us. And we try to do it next week and I've forgotten about it. Please do not put it in my bag. It's time to pick a team. Um, yeah, we've uh, got our work cut out for us. Alrighty. Turn on the random picker. Bloop. Number one. Dratini. Dratini. Ooh, Magmar. I don't think we've had Magmar before. That could be good. Mr. Mime could take us places, too. I feel like... Didn't Mr. Mime get us through rockets? Heracross, old friend. Mag... Ooh, okay, that's, um... That's Forks. Um... One more. And a free pick? A free pick? That's probably going to be our boy Murkrow then, huh? Right? I think so. <laughs> I mean, he takes Ash's mom's places and she doesn't seem to care. Okay, let's get this rolling. Forks! Okay. So, Mr. Mime's probably, or Magmar, so Forks isn't our leftovers holder. What are you gonna have? I'm thinking either, like, maybe Bitterberry? Or Goldberry. Goldberry sets him up to be able to take. No, we need to save Bitterberry for Murkrow. So, gold it is. Okay. Um, Dratini. Should at least have Outrage. There you are. Outrage, Thunder Wave, Juice Box. Who else? There's our boy Heracross. Always with the Quick Claw, just in case. It might matter. Let's see. Magmar, what do you have? So Fire Punch is good. Magmar is pretty fast. Um, has a decent special defense. Okay. Uh, I don't think it's going to get leftovers, so we'll probably just charcoal here. Or poison. We give it a poison cure because then, then Magmar is able to come in on Koga and fire punch the bugs.
And it's not like he's going to be doing anything else. Yeah. Okay. Magneton's already been chosen. Where's our Mr. Man? Psybeam. It's a shame about Psybeam, though. But it's definitely leftovers. And the final one is Murkrow. With the Bitterberry. Because the Bitterberry lets us combat Karen, which is going to be the biggest issue. Okay. Let's do it. Let me know if there's um, an audio echo, too. I'm still tweaking all of the settings after upheavaling them earlier this or I guess last week now. Um, let's see, so this is like Forks, Mr. Mime, and Murkrow? Yeah. Yeah, the, the only thing I'm really worried about is when the announcer is talking. It shouldn't be happening, um, but if it's too loud, let me know and I can... I have the volume lower for... Ooh! Is this the first time we've seen Forks? Because Forks has different color poles on his magnets. Okay, Jinx. Jinx has Ice Punch and Psychic. So I think we just try to slow it down here with Thunder Wave. So we resist that. That's good. Alright, so we can't go switching to Murkrow here. So we're just going to Thunderbolt. Pow. That's pretty good. Oh, well, that's a shame, isn't it? He's gonna switch. Okay, so this is Earthquake. I don't think there's any fire moves, so I we just let it Earthquake. There's no sense in switching to Murkrow here. Ten percent chance. Yeah. You said it, Lou. That KO will bring out a new Pokemon. So since Girafferig also has Shadow Ball, can't send Mr. Mime out. It's too physical. Okay. So this could trigger Clefable if he has it. Is not. So what is it, Stomp? Okay, great. We can two-hit it. Stomp. Thank goodness we're faster. Ouchies. Okay. Who's your third, Will? Who is your third? Murkrow's portrait, just the eyeball. Zatu. Okay. Is Murkrow faster? I feel like nothing is faster than the Zatu, but now I need to know. Because if we're slower... No, it just goes for Nightshade. It doesn't matter. It just it just tries to spam Nightshade on us. Okay. They're eyeing each other warily. Paint attack. They prepare for battle. It did go for fly. Wow, okay. There's the attack. No, that is the I'm gonna go to Mr. Mime. I wanna preserve Murkrow, and now that we know that that's what he's gonna do, we can Go to Mr. Mime. Sub. Oh, 
or just die. Stupid Zatu. Oh my god, if I throw this team away, I'm gonna just bury her then. Wow. Okay. All because I didn't think it was gonna be. Why would it not just spam Nightshade? The problem is, if we screw this up now, it just kills us with Nightshade. Because if it goes Nightshade now, it hits us, we fly, it misses, and then it, we fly, and then it kills us. Does the Pokemon Stadium 2 AI know? Or is it just going to do what it wants to do? Fly. Okay. Okay. Do we have this thing's number? Okay. Wow, I was kind of surprised that he didn't just take the damage again and do Nightshade, but I continue to be surprised by the Zatu. <laughs> okay. We have to kill Jinx with this faint attack. This Pokemon is rejoining the battle. It's down to the last Pokemon now. Because we die to Ice Punch. You know what? Fly is a higher base power. How far off? is Murkrow's physical attack from its special attack. They're equal? Oh, but it's not super effective. So we go faint attack. But, but... Jinx's physical defense is much lower. Uh, her special defense is 95, and her physical defense is 35. So it's 60 different. Faint attack is 100. 
no, it's 90. So it's 180 base power versus flies. Um, What's the matter, trainer? Shut up. I'm working on it. Versus fly, which is 105 base power. So the faint attack will deal more damage because the, de the difference in the defense is only 60. Okay. He threw. A hot battle is unfolding. Okay. Will threw. What a weirdo. Yeah, thanks, Will. Appreciate it. I think we're still dead to any Ice Punch, even if we were at full HP coming off the Zatu, but now we don't have to know. So, Magneton cannot be poisoned. So Magneton is going to come out and Thunder Wave everything it can. Could force Glygar. So we go Forks. We go Murkrow. Let's see. Mr. Mime hits Aridos, Venomoth, Golbat, and Muck. Pretty hard. If Mr. Mime comes out and subs, they can't, they can't Toxic. Yeah, they'd have to use something else. Okay, so it's Forks, Murkrow, because Murkrow has Fly, which hits Venomoth and Aridos. It has Faint Attack, which doesn't miss. Okay. All right, Koga, let's do it. The next opponent is Koga. The challenger must avoid being mesmerized by this skillful ninja. Skillful ninja. Yep. So what does he do here? Just double team? It increased its evasiveness. So we can send Mr. Mime out. Sub because we're faster. And then it cannot do anything. Uh, then we can send to send to Murkrow and faint attack it to death. Okay, so Mr. Mime. If, if it wants to sit there and use double team, heck, even if it wants to use Thunderbolt, like we can, we can take a Thunderbolt. Mr. Mime has special defense. Sure, bud. It's fine. It's fine. Sub. Forgot how to swallow. <coughs> the white hot battle continues. <coughs> Sorry, jeez. I almost just regular switched. Nope, baton pass. Okay. Used baton pass. To a Murkrow. 
I mean, Mr. Mime in general is creepy, as we've established. And faint attack. We could also haze. If we haze, it puts him back on just using double team. Um, yeah, so let's let's haze to keep him using double team, uh, and then we we can maybe get get off a nightshade for a little bit of extra damage. Sadness. Okay. Okay, so we have to leave. We have to go to Forks. This Electrode is a nightmare. Why does Koga have an Electrode? Come on. Ouchies. So is it just going to keep using... I really wanted to, I don't know what, I was, huh, I may have messed up. Alright, so we need to go to Mr. Mime. I guess he's going to use Thunder again. Huh. Yeah, exactly. That's fine. Can we have him not hit a freaking thunder? That would be fantastic. Blown move. I don't think I've ever heard him say that. Neat. Murkrow. So, he's one double team in, two double teams in. I guess we're just going to faint attack. Trying to get too cute, trying to go for uh, Nightshade. We just need to hit it and get this thing out of here so we can get on with our lives. Nice, even better. So we have to go back to Mr. Mime to tank the thunder. Which sucks. Wow! Cool! Can you miss, like, one of these thunders? I don't know if we have enough HP to sub. Hang on. It takes a... Okay, we have three HP enough to sub. Okay. So the crappy thing here is that it's going to use Thunder anyway. Ugh, because we got the sub off. Okay, whatever. Do that. Do that. 
Now we can faint attack, faint attack, and even if it hits us, it just pops the sub. Thank God. Go away, Electrode. Nobody likes you. God. One HP. Get out of here. Shut up, Koga. Okay. So it can set Sandstorm. So here we just Nightshade. What else does it have? Sludge Bomb? What's it gonna do? Faster? So this is three hits. I that does bypass the sub. But it doesn't break the sub, which is fine. That's what we care about. What's Gliger's special defense look like? Oh, thank God for the substitute. Really? It's able to proc the defense stat down, huh? Even on the sub hit. Interesting. Uh, it doesn't matter, you're dead. Please go away. <laughs> so Poison Cure Barry on Magmar was a waste. Oh well. Okay. It's gonna hit both of us. So here we go to Forks, expecting the Toxic. This also gets us out of Sandstorm damage. We do paralyze it to give everybody else a chance. Have some residual damage, you dingus. Hit him with your Thunder Smash. Okay. Please. Thank you. I will stay in. I mean, it's paralyzed. I don't really know what else it can do except up the double teams. So we'll hit it while we can. Or we won't. Thank you. The white hot battle continues. There's the attack. Break it. Ah, it raised its evasiveness. I'm going to keep trying to just smack it. Thank you. Suck it, Koga. Thank you, Forks. You are a champion. Yeah. All right, Bruno. So, Mr. Mime outspeeds everything here except Kangaskhan, right? Mr. Mime is not slow, is it? That was weird. Huh. I don't know if y'all heard that, but it sounded like weird stuff. So, Mr. Mime base speed of 90. 
I think Onyx is faster because that's like the only thing Onyx can do is go fast and be bad. No, Onyx is slower. Base speed of 70. That's Kanga. Yeah, Kanga's con, yes. Okay. Stats is 90, so we're slower than Kanga. Which is bad, because it can punch the bejesus out of us. I think we're going to be faster than everything else. So let's... Let me check Machamp. I'm pretty sure Machamp is a very slow, but... Yes, it is. Okay. Robotic! Uh, thanks for... That's what I heard, was the, <laughs> the alert. Hey, Robotic. Thanks for popping in. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, and welcome in, Raiders. Right, I was going to check Heracross versus Mr. Mime. 107, 116, so faster. Okay. So. Does the Kanga have Earthquake? I think it's still Mr. Mime, Murkrow, and Forks. Yeah, we're doing well. Uh, this is the first run of the night. We got a free pick on a Lugia, so that's where our Murkrow came from. And we rolled a Magneton, so we got to bring my trained up one. That's Forks. Um, it's amazing how difficult they made these teams. Yeah, man. I had to go through so much garbage to be able to get Thunderbolt on this Pokemon. It's ridiculous how hard it is to get in Gen 2. Because it doesn't learn it. It only learns Thundershock. The only... Uh, you have to TM any other electric move onto it. And it's Thunderbolt, Zap Cannon, or Thunder. Ridiculous. The problem is, if we lead Mime, it doesn't really... It has to leave versus Golem and Onyx. And we don't... We don't have any good answers to Golem or Onyx on this team. We have Heracross, actually. So maybe we bring Mime, Murkrow, and Heracross? We've got we've done good work with Heracross before. With the counter. Yeah. Maybe it's Heracross. Lead Heracross. Can take everything but like a rock slide from the golem, right? Like that's the only thing we really have to worry about. And even that's a neutral hit. Okay, yeah, so Heracross, Mime. Do we bring Murkrow then? Murkrow has Fly, which is good against Heracross and Machamp. It can't really do much anywhere else though. Dratini doesn't have a water move. I hate to bring Forks with a crippling weakness to um, earthquake. Yeah, Dratini is unfortunately not not viable here. Um, and we know Machamp has earthquake as well. Good smoke screen set. Maybe we do just bring Murkrow. A faint attack and... Well, not faint attack because they resist that. But Nightshade and Fly should should do okay for us. We just have to make sure that we're not hit by anything. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking Murkrow. Okay. The third opponent is Bruno. How will the challenger bear up against the 
You just missed an agonizing Koga fight versus his stupid electrode poison type mascot. But we got there. Yeah, so... We've, do we've done this before. So I'm wondering if we don't just leave. What if we just leave? What if we just leave? Because it could use reversal, it could use horn attack, or it could use counter. Those are its its things. I'm just gonna use counter. If we both counter, it's a it's a wasted turn. If it uses reversal, yeah, okay, that's fine. It has so much more HP than I do. I'm gonna go for that one more time. Let's see if he changes it up. Yes. Yeah, I'll show you a light hit. Have 80 damage. Tonk. You wanna try that again? So this is Horn Attack. And then he's gonna go Reversal because he's gonna be very low. The that did little damage. What are you talking about? They look completely normal. What do do? This is not what they look... Some on by the Come on, game. Oh, look at... My hair cross is completely fine. Continue. I don't know what you're talking about. So this is Reversal. There's no gender differences in um, in Gen 2, though, right? Right? Did they do the Rattata? The... Was that a thing in Gen 2? Let's find out. Ugh, God, the Bulbapedia page just reminded me that there's a G-Max Machamp. Gross. Uh, sprites. No, in Gen 2 there's no... No gender differences yet. That's not until Gen 4. Well, because first off, most G-Maxes are gross. Um, and I just really hate its head. I hate its, its doofy little whack-a-mole diglet head. Like I said, it's definitely reversal. We resist it, so we just counter it. We're just gonna take some damage. Wow. I did not expect that to do that much damage. Do we not resist that? I guess it's mine and we just kill it. See, what an opportunity. Cut would be fine, except Cut has an accuracy of 90. And we already pushed our luck really hard with Fly earlier in the run. We cannot rely on 95 or 90 accurate moves. It is Mrs. Mine. Miss Mine. Mix Mine. Does have the Machamp. Okay. So. So the problem is we are weak to Cross Chop. So if I can Barrier, we might survive the Earthquake. Or he just goes Psybeam for damage. All those arms for hugging. All those extra armpits to deodorant. Not weak to, but um, if we switch to Murkrow, 
Murkrow doesn't resist cross chop, and it will fold like a paper napkin. That's the only thing I ever think about with Machamp is that it's got four armpits, and it just that's I can't. <laughs> Uh, I think we have to go barrier, right? Barrier, if we live, we can baton pass the barrier to Murkrow. This barrier's plus two defense. <laughs> With his gloves can't touch you. It's legally not allowed to touch people. It has to wear gloves in Alola. Murkrow's moves are Faint Attack, Fly, Nightshade, and Haze. Um, let's see. There we go. So, like, Murkrow's very clearly going to need at least two flies to hit this thing. Like, honestly, the best outcome is Psybeam Confuse It Hurts Itself. But I don't see that happening. Hmm. Um, we lean on the barrier and nightshade, or fly, depending on what it is, hopefully. Um, oh yeah, because this is his last fighting type. So, Mr. Mime, we would kind of hope to see Blastoise at that point, so that we can, uh, at least take a Hydro Pump. Look, 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 look. Why, why think about what's next when we have this problem and we need to solve this problem? I feel like we go barrier. Depending on how effective Barrier is, we might even be able to sub and Psybeam. What's the matter, trainer? Sir? Strategizing. Give me a minute. You just can sit, just watch them watch each other, and we'll figure this out. <laughs> or what's behind door number two? The has issued a command. Okay. I'm glad we all agree on that. Is it puppies? It might be. Because we chose door number one, we will never know. New card. Okay. I am incredibly inclined to barrier again and then sub or something. All right, so now we're plus four. So we have to leave now. That sucks. I forgot it had that. So we have to leave. So that's a three hit kill. What's this? 
question is, can we kill it in three flies? Or two flies, rather. Seismic toss, huh? Okay, that's that's good. I mean, it's still bad, but it's good. It's good. So we're still we're still plus two defense. If we can get some some nightshades or something off, mine might have a chance. All right. So Onyx, three hit kill with nightshade. I think faint attack is gonna do more, right? Faint attack does more to an Onyx than Nightshade. It's got to do more than 50. Right? Like, Onyx has no special defense. Special defense is 45. Yeah. And then mine comes out and side beams it. Look at this dancing dino. I guess that's that's my cue to hurry it up. <laughs> A rock napkin. All right, paint attack. It is cute. Okay. I think. I think we're okay. I think Psybeam can deal 12 damage. And Psybeam can't, or doesn't miss. We're faster. Right? Don't scare me like that. A hot battle is unfolding. Yeah. Yeah, we're faster. Mime's base speed is 90. Psybeam. They go into battle mode. Would this be it? Wow. That settles this battle. Yeah. Mime's base speed is 90. Onyx is a 70. Bruno, go away. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, you're doing it. Mission accomplished. Yeah, you are somehow worse than Koga. <laughs> Scream. Okay, Forks can't be attracted. Um, she likes to lead Umbreon. Yeah. I just, yeah, I feel like you need the whole bit of it of me holding the Xbox as well, but yeah, it's not, it doesn't read well at chat size. But I have an idea for another emote that I want to draw, so I'm going to see if I can do that. 
Onyx in Japanese is Iwark. Iwarku. That's terrible. Onyx is way better. All right, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? So Murkrow can hit Umbreon. I did. So, well, thank you. I like Murkrow because Faint Attack hits Gengar, um, and Nightshade kind of gets around a lot of their other nonsense. Oh, and the Fly hits Victory Bell and Vileplume. So, the problem with Heracross is that they're not going to be doing a lot of physical attacking. And... Like what? Reversal doesn't hit Gengar. Like, Heracross literally can't hit Gengar. Um, Magmar is not a physical attacker. I do kind of like bringing Forks because he's at least immune to attract and might be able to set up some Thunder Wave garbage, which I'm never going to look Paralysis down. Mime does hit Vileplume Gengar in Victory Bell, but Mime can't do anything against Murkrow and Umbreon. So if we bring Mime, we have to make sure that we've got other people to deal with them. I'm pretty sure that Mime can beat Magmar. So the problem with that is that Umbreon has Psychic. <laughs> because of course it does. So we would need to live and we could reversal and hit it because we are immune to attract but what it's going to do it's going to go it's going to go confuse ray and then it's going to go psychic i think it's definitely, we'll lead with Forks, we'll bring Murkrow, and now it's a question between Mime and Heracross. Mime hits Victory Bell, Gengar, and Vileplume, but, Geng or, but Murkrow already hits all of those. Heracross dies to Magmar, but resists the grass attacks from Vileplume and Victory Bell. Completely melts to Murkrow, though. I think it's Mime. Actually, do we just... Do we lead Mime and sub? Mime's gonna be faster than everything here except the Gengar and the Murkrow? What is the Magmar? Um, a Fire Puncher. That for some reason I thought was gonna be valuable against Koga, so I gave it a Poison Cure Berry and we never needed it. Didn't even bring it. What do we think about Substitute Mime as the lead? It's definitely faster than Umbreon. It should be faster than Victory Bell. If we get the sub off, that removes Attract, Stun Spore, and Confuse Ray from their repertoire. Okay, so let's let's. Uh, oh, whoops. Reselect. Mime, Forks, Murkrow. Okay, let's do it. And now the challenger faces Karen, the last of the elite four. Will the challenger be able to thwart her dark type Pokemon and taste sweet victory? <laughs> All right, 
right, there's the Umbreon, which is good. It's what we wanted to see, because we are faster. So that lets us set sub. So this is either Confuse Ray or Faint Attack. So unfortunately, we do have to leave. I think this thing also has Nightshade because... Wait, no, can it learn? It can't learn Nightshade. Okay, so we Baton Pass out of here. So we go to Forks, we can paralyze it. Ready to go. Oh, it's Magneton. Oh, that doesn't trigger Pursuit? The substitute took the oh, Substitute, you are a champion. Thunder Wave, please, and thank you. Okay. Okay. So we just smash it with Thunderbolt until we have to leave? It's, I'm not expecting big damage here, but, you know, 60 would be nice. Can we get 60 damage? Uh, it's kind of close, I guess. So that's going to break the sub. Maybe. Oh, it didn't? That's awesome. Nice, okay. It really is. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. So even if it breaks the sub, we're still faster and we don't get Confuse Raid. This is huge. There it goes. I was gonna say, like, it's gotta be hanging in there by a thread. I don't know why I talk like that. Okay. Okay. So, whatever comes out is gonna use Confuse Ray or Stun Spore or whatever the heck it has. What is this thing actually going to do? It's just going to try and Razor Leaf me to death? I'm certainly Thunder Waving you. And then we're leaving. What now? It's by paralysis. Ah, it can't move. They're both hanging tough. I really want to go to Mime and try and sub again. Because Murkrow getting paralyzed is extremely, extremely bad for us. Do we just see how much a Thunderbolt does? Because our other option is try attack. Yeah, I just... It's pre-physical special split, man. It's going to be bad. It's going to be real bad. Let's see. Base stats. It's base, base attack is 60. What's the matter, trainer? But, conversely, being s paralyzed as Magneton isn't terrible. Like, it's not great, but it's not the end of the world. Let's try try attack. Let's just see where it gets us. All right, that's what I was kind of thinking. This, however, comma, that's all right, because this lets us go to mime and not get stun spored, which lets us set sub and send Murkrow out. 
So Mime has to take a Razor Leaf here. Which is up in the air, like as it could crit. Fantastic. Okay, because again, it's going to be inclined to use um, Stun Spore here. Yep. Oh wait, no, we just we just hit it, right? We just side beam it. We don't even need to leave. Yeah, we don't even need to go to Murkrow. This lets us stay in, recover more HP. Nice. So even if it breaks sub. Oh. No, yeah, that'll that'll break it because that's that's a physical move. That's okay, because three three leftovers procs is almost a full sub worth of HP, so, and that's what this gets us. Nice, okay. Ba la 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 la, huh? Okay. I need to look up its moveset. I need to know if it has Shadow Ball. Um, hang on. Boop. Um. Karen. Gengar has Attract, Lick, Psychic, and Confuse Ray with a Paralyzed Cure Berry. And it's gonna be faster. Paralyzed Cure Berry is a problem. The trainer hasn't issued a command. But Lick is going to be really bad, right? So he, he's going to try and go for a Tract. So we could just full switch to Magneton. And try to fight through the paralysis. Because we cannot risk mine getting paralyzed. Yeah, Lick, Lick is physical. Uh, Ghost is physical. I think the play is Mime. Or, it's, uh, Magneton. Because um, this is... Because we're slower... And I don't want to get paralyzed, is the thing. But I do I do take your point. So why don't we... Because Lick won't kill... Oh, no, because it's going to attract. That's what it's going to do first. Sorry. Um, I could almost 100% guarantee it's going to use attract first, which is why I want to get out of here. Um, and get to Forks. Because Forks just has to deal with the Confuse Ray, but then we're going to be para-confused... But I guess, I guess we do, we can just go Psybeam because it's going to have to use a tract that gives us a chance to get damage off. What's the matter, trainer? And otherwise, Mime's not doing anything else. Okay. Yeah, she's going to use a tract and we're just going to try and break through because it's not going to be able to kill us quickly. It's going to rely on us punching ourselves. Yeah. All right, get ready for Parafusion. We do have the leftovers, at least. Hey, hey. Wouldn't it be nice? What if, what if Attract only worked on moves that did damage? What if you could still set up? Yes. That might be enough because Murkrow can faint attack that thing to death. So here's a lick. Yep.
If we switch to Magneton, Magneton's already confu or already paralyzed. I just really don't want to get paralyzed, because then there's no chance of us breaking through. And Lick is 30% to paralyze. God, the Confuse Ray is a huge problem. The trainer hasn't issued a command. Go to Forks. I don't get it. They're ready to go. Washington. The Carolina. Unless it was to something that I said and not what Robotic said. Okay, there's the lick. Yeah. No, we're here to win. We Thunderbolt. Um, Forks is a town in Washington. Okay. I could not have told you that. There's probably a Forks, Texas, though, too, right? Come on, Forks. Maybe you're right. No, I guess we do go for Thunder Wave because that lets everybody else do their jobs. Gengar can't do much against Forks, I'm hoping. We resist this. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right, I forgot about that. Oh my god. Okay. Thunder Wave. Okay. Oh, champion. It's where Twilight takes place? Oh, I, then I certainly couldn't have told you that. No! Full para, full para? Dang it. That is why we have you. Why I have you. Forks, no! You're making me look bad in front of my friends! Bye, Forks. You were a champion. Thank you. You did real good, bud. Mine. Pokemon is ready. The Pokeball opens to, to reveal, reveal the Pokemon. Pokemon. Mine, 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 mine. It's a fierce Nice. Now one more. Win. The last Pokemon goes down. Wiggle, wiggle. And there goes the battle. <sighs> okay, made it to Lance. Again. I don't know what we're gonna do against Lance, but we got here. Forks actually has a pretty good matchup against everything except the Charizard, I think. Yeah, yeah, we will do another save state. Um, let me make sure. So this is gonna go to slot three. And then we're gonna save, okay. And technically, we did perfect Koga. So that's worth a, con a continue, right? Save state three. Still the champion. Shut up, Lance. All right. So Forks. Forks hits everything except Steelix. Um, does anything else have Earthquake? Charizard has Dig, but at least we can get out of that. 
Gyarados does not. Aerodactyl has Earthquake. Come on. Steelix has Earthquake. Dragonite does not. Tyranitar does not. So we resist every move from Tyranitar. Has Hyper Beam, Crunch, Rock Slide, Dragon Breath. Uh, we resist every move from Dragonite. Oh god, that's right. The Dragonite has a Focus Band. Didn't that... That took one of our runs from us. God, I just remembered that. Flashbacks. Um... The Gyarados has Sleep Talk? With no rest? What? Why? Can you imagine how upset you would be if you put that thing to sleep, didn't know it had Sleep Talk, and it's Sleep Talk like Hyper Beam do? Like, ugh. Ugh, okay. No, we can't hit... Steelix is ground. We can't hit Steelix. Well, I mean, yeah, we can Sonic Boom or uh, try attack it. Mind Barrier into Magneton. Yeah, that does give us a lot of protection. Nah, Steelix is Steel Ground. Yeah. Because it still dies to surf. Like, vivid memories as a child of just walking into Jasmine's gym with a Feraligator that was like eight levels higher than all of her stuff and just mashing surf and not caring. <laughs> um, okay, so Mime and Forks. Murkrow is fast, doesn't super anything actively weak to Tyranitar and Dactyl. Actually, Tyranitar Tyranitar doesn't have a rock move. Yes, it does. It has rock slide. Okay. How is killing it with surf? Um, you know what? Touche. Uh, yeah, because rock is also weak. I promise. I promise it's steel ground. Oh, I know why. I also remember that. Um, is because fire is still super effective against it because ground doesn't resist fire. That's the other way I kind of remembered it. All right. Mime Forks. Murkrow can just hit. So Murkrow gives us a swap, a free swap on Earthquake, which isn't nothing. It just doesn't really do much back. Like, it dies to the rock moves. It really can't take a hit. Uh, the Tyranitar has Rock Slide. And Dactyl has Ancient Power. Um, nobody else has anything that's super... Man, you're just really not supposed to status these idiots. All of them, except Dragonite, have a status cure berry. Although why he's worried about his Steelix being burned is beyond me. Because the other option is Hera. Like, the only special attacker... Let's see, Gyarados and Charizard are special attackers. The Tyranitar technically has Crunch. Um, 
So maybe it's Heracross and not Murkrow. And dra oh no, I guess Dragon Breath is all special in this gen. Because it's it's the EV Evolution types plus Dragon is are the special attacks. So we can't really counter anything. We know it's not Dratini, we know it's not Magmar. So is it Hera? Or is it Murkrow? Murkrow's faster. I think it's Murkrow. Let's go Murkrow. Alright. Mime. Forks. Murkrow. Where we get screwed here is if he's faster than mine. Tar. Okay, so that's Crunch. Do we live that? We might live that. We've got really high special defense, and its special defense isn't going to be great. Right? Tyranitar? What's your special attack look like, bud? Face stats. Special attack's pretty high. It's still 95? That's wild. Huh. Titar is dark. No, we're not gonna... I was gonna bury her. I was gonna bury her and then uh, baton pass out of here. We're not side beaming. Because Magneton resists Crunch. Matter, and can Thunder Wave this thing. Yeah, I'm gonna go Barrier. Oh, he's just going for the beam, okay. Double barrier f switch? No, I'm gonna go for the barrier. It gets us more HP back with Mime. I think it goes for Crunch now that we've plus forward, which is fine. Forks. So, it cannot super us. Yeah, there's the Crunch. Yep. Okay, let me make sure. I'm pretty sure the... Who's got the Paracure Berry? Titar has Bitter Berry. Okay. So... Thunder Wave. This is going to keep crunching. No special defense drop? Okay, gold berry, great. Nice. Okay. This is still probably a three hit. We, real, we need a para proc. Yeah. It might even be four. Yikes. Okay. So what it did 60 
It did 61 damage. So yeah, we're gonna need we're gonna need some help here. Some high rolls. Okay, okay. So this takes us to half. Oh, I didn't want to see that. T-Bolt. Nice. Okay. Okay. It's one. That's bad, because that's, that's Surf, right? Is this is Surf. We have to leave. Oh yeah, 100% Gyarados is faster than Magna. Um, but we will check. Um, let's see, base stats. 81? Isn't Magnetons 90? Seventy. Okay, no, no, it's faster. Mime could be faster. The problem is it's a rental. We have to go to Mime because it's Surf, and Gyarados' special attack is Poop. It could also be looking at Dragon Breath, which would be pretty bad. The thing is, though, we do that, but what's our plan after that? There's no world where we can get forks in and get two Thunderbolts off. Because it's, it's still got a lot of special defense. Murkrow's got terrible defenses. Does it kill? I can't imagine that it it kills. Um, with a special defense of a hundred, I I can't imagine that it is enough. So what do we do? The only thing, if we go to Mime, live the Surf, Psybeam it, and hope that it uses Hyper Beam, kills Mime, What's the matter, well, I think we live a Surf. We definitely live a D-Breath. We want it to hyper beam so we can come in and kill it on the free turn. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, Magneton does not live the surf with the special defense drop. Okay, I'm going to mine. There's the surf. Okay. Wait, if we sub and it 
it hyper beams the sub. Does that does that count as attacking with hyper beam? It's worth finding out, right? Oh, it just went for surf again. Okay. Dang. Okay. Leftovers heal. Psy beam. Okay. Okay, so now the question becomes, does Magneton live a Surf? It's a neutral hit stab with bad special attack. 60, 60 is bad. Man, I hate to go to a freaking calculator for it because we don't know Magneton's stats. Um, let's see. Damage calculator. All right, this is gold silver. What's the matter, trainer? This is magneton versus Gyarados. This is Thun I'm pretty sure Thunderbolt kills it from here. Thunderbolt. Ah, oh, Thunderbolt just kills it. Okay. Okay. Um, and it has Surf. Um, and our HP, oh, that's our base. I can't, oh, here it is. So we're at 30, or we're at 54, right? 54 out of 123. Oh, we have bad HP. Okay. It's a, it's a roll. It is a roll. What if we... Can I lower this? What is this? Am I able to affect these? No. Why can't I change these? I hate this. We might have to ask the role, yeah. <sighs> okay. The concerning thing is like our our HP's worse, but the percentage is better. T bolt. Sucks I can't change those. Oh, now I can. What the heck? It's like the, the HP one you can't change. It's always fixed, but all the other ones work. Weird. Okay. Well, so Murkrow comes out and just gets 
blasted by Hyper Beam, right? Wow, that was bad. So we get to kill it here. So we got one continue. So how does that inform? What can we do different? We know the special defense drop didn't end up mattering. There's the D Knight. Smell you later. Continue. This is for beating Koga on perfect. If we run that team back, what is likely to happen? The same thing, right? Like, we can't... The crunch is really a problem. We just need to get lucky on the para procs. Yeah, if we start forks, what does that look like? So... If we start forks and he brings anything that can earthquake, we go to Murkrow. Otherwise, we para or T bolt, depending. The problem is that once Murkrow is in, we can't safely get to Mime without losing Murkrow. So we only get that option once. Let's try it. And we gotta gotta change we gotta try something. Finally, this is absolutely it. The last battle. The opponent is right. The curtains have risen for this faithful encounter. Wait, did we perfect Karen? Did she kill anything? Yeah. Yeah, she killed Forks. Okay, so it does go T-Tar here. So what is... This is just Crunch again, though? Yeah, because it's not... It doesn't have Earthquake. It could try to go Slide or... Um, uh, Hyper Beam. It is gonna go slide, okay. So we resist that. That's not as bad as um as crunch. That was a good roll. Okay. 
So we can't get flinched. That happens. And the crit! And the kill! Okay. Donk. It's all ogre now. Okay, D Knight. What is D Knight gonna do? The white hot battle continues. Nothing. Steel Wing, Thunder. Well, we paralyze it. Yeah, we are in much better shape already. So we. Because it, it can go Thunder, Steel Wing, Hyper Beam. Sure. Goldberry, baby! Paralbidus. Nice. Okay, so now we team bolt. This is neutral damage. This is again probably a three hit, although it might be a little bit tankier than Titar. Okay, that's pretty good. That's three hits. T bolt. I mean, you got it, right? There's a world where you switch there. Yeah, I think... I, I don't think it's worth trying to keep Magneton alive. If it were a little bit faster, maybe. All right. What you got? Show me potato salad. There's the Gyarados, of course. Okay. So... That sucks. That's super bad, right? That's the worst thing it could have been. There's no way to get forks in. without tricking it into Hyper Beam. We need it to Hyper Beam Murkrow. Kill Murkrow so we can switch to Forks on the recharge. So. Because it's... It's telling me Thunderbolt kills this thing. My special attack's not that high. What is my special attack? Even at minimal special attack, Thunderbolt kills. Okay. Yeah, so we go to Mime. I think it uses Surf. Because it sees it sees a kill that doesn't require that. Yep. And we want it to use Hyper Beam. Yeah, so we want our, our HP to be as high as possible so that we're just going to get some damage in on it now to help the Thunderbolt cause. This is 182. There's the Hyper Beam. I'm starting to freak out. I'm starting to freak out. This Pokemon is rejoining the battle. The number of remaining Pokemon is two to one. Thunderbolt?
Yes! Yes! <laughs> We're done! Oh. You're just mad that I tied Will to Bill Nye. It is a great Ludicolo. Oh, for a second there, I thought was, we were going to have to fight the rival. <laughs> Oh. Yay. All right. All right, hold hold your horses there, Kanto gym leaders. Chill out. <laughs> Kanto time. Oh. So the first thing we have to do is reset. So we get to do them in any order. Or mini game. Let's just let's just wrap it up. We'll just we'll, we'll end a little early in celebration with a mini game. Oh yeah, right. They're all cursed. Togepi, where did your head go? <laughs> Oh, really? What? Where's start? I wanna... Oh, can't bop the diglet. Hey, thanks for... Thanks for stopping by, Robotic. I appreciate the, the input. You really super helped me plan that out. I appreciate it. And good night, yes. Enjoy your weekend. Dun, 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 dun. No! No! My shame. Oh my. You used to be better at this. Oh my goodness. Boo, we got a B. We got a B. Let's play a different game. Tumbling to repeat. We're gonna be Gepston. No! We're gonna lose? No! <laughs> Ugh. I had to make an uncomfortable, like, switch to a different position, like, holding position, and it, it cost me. Let's count. Clef sword. Ha <laughs> ha.
Gabsta. I don't like the way that Iggly Buff is looking at me. Buff Bond, get out of here. Let's out count this thing. We're not going back to Will. Shut up. It's Buff Bond. Count the Psyducks. <laughs> What's going on over there? Green, are you okay? Doug Trio. Five. Yeah. Pichu with no ears. Fifteen. Dink, 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 dink. All of them. Twenty-three, twenty-four. It's twenty. It's It's twenty-four plus or minus one. What? 26, okay. I stand fully corrected. I was never very good at this one. First slip. Is that ping sling? That's awesome. Ow! Oh. Correct. I'm late. There it is. It's me. Love the spinner act, though. I went way early there. Okay, final cut. Oh, it's early. I think we're okay as long as nobody perfected. Nice. Hey! <laughs> Brought that back after double zeros. I guess we'll just run through all the games that we haven't played already. Because, well, we played the Eevee one and I got shamed by the a the, the normal AIs. No, nah, Golboni can do this. That's alright, I don't have any hearts to give! Mine. Rude. Oop! Thank you. No! What? Seriously, that one went right through me. So can we knock them out of each other or not? Excuse me. Stop it! Those were my hearts! Okay. Cleaned up at the end there. Stay away from me. Tops. 
Topsy Turvy. Toppermot. Omer Top. Toppin. Too Flippy. I mean, I. Why can't I be too flippy? Sad. Nope, nope. Okay. I just ran myself out there, cool. Double knockout. Yes! All right, that was, hey, you be nice. You're not here getting wrecked by the normal computers. It's me. Fretful, Centrion, Nestral, Centriad. <laughs> yeah. Get in the goal! Please? No! No! Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> Did it. Barrier Ball. Mimely. Mogute. Mimeon. Mimer. I mean, it wasn't easy. I give off big furred energy. I don't know how I feel about that. Cool. Scored by the uh, inbound. Scored on the inbound again. Cool. No! Come on, come on. All right, green cheated. Only explanation. Should have it. Seems cruel, right? Suck it, losers! I was never good at this one. And also, why is it played with the D-pad?
Good music. It's so many laps. Stay away from me, yellow. Oop. <laughs> ah, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Crushed it. Did that one, did that one. Dill bird. Birdiet, Birdios, Delbont, Dolian. Diamonds, diamonds. Now swing up. Piano. Piano. Give me another piano. Okay, fine. Thanks for pushing me. Oh, no, 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 gimme. No! You rude. my piano back. Oh, you dingus. Give me that. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Gimme! Go with the candy! No. Yeah, I'm the best Santa bird. Alright, that's everybody. That's all of them. And that, for now, will do it. For Pokemon Stadium 2. Let's get out of that cursed menu. My goodness. Thank you so much for... No, we did Eevee the last time. We can do it again if you want. And back to the cursed menu. Um, we'll do Eevee while I do the wrap-up. I guess we did do every all the other ones tonight. So, yeah, we'll do Eevee. Um, but yeah, this will do it for um, Pokemon Stadium 2 for the time being. We might come back and uh, and hit the Kanto side, but I really just wanted to do that one. Idiots. Um, and then I guess we'll figure out something else to do on Friday nights. No! <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Curse my human reaction times. Wow, we tied? Alright. Well, there you go. That'll do it for me tonight. Thank you all so much for watching, for the assistance with the planning. I do appreciate it. Nope, the tie is where it goes. <laughs> um, so we'll be back on Sunday with more Dragon Quest. We should be done with Dragon Quest V uh, on Sunday as well. So finishing lots of games. Yeah. But until then, I'll catch y'all next time. Bye-bye.